Want to know the four fatal mistakes I see almost every e-commerce business owner making when it comes to email marketing? That's coming up in this video. What's up everybody, it's 2020. You made it to the new year. Man, I hope your new year and your holiday was amazing. I know mine was great. We, uh, my son and my daughter got some amazing gifts. I got some amazing gifts. And uh, we had a great new year. And I'm just pumped for 2020. Pumped to bring you a lot of really good content in 2020. So I hope you're as excited as I am about the new year and ready to get to it. So first, I wanna ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like these videos, if you've been getting value out of these videos, please just smash that like button. Leave me a comment, I love to hear from you. And also hit that subscribe button. That'll make sure that you get notified of new videos every single week when we put them out. So with all that out of the way, let's jump right into the video today. I wanna kick things off today by telling you that email marketing is still king, okay? Regardless of what you hear, regardless of uh, you hearing about open rates dropping, all that kind of stuff, you know, email marketing's been around for 20 plus years and it's still the best way to generate sales, to generate sales quickly, to build your list, all of those things. So I wanna tell you that if you're not doing email marketing, you need to start, it is still king, it's still the best way to make sales. And most big business teachers out there will tell you that your list is your business, okay? Your customer's list, your buyer's list, your email list, that is your business. That determines the worth of your business, okay? It's not your traffic or how cool your website looks or how cool your products are. It is, do you have buyers? Do you have a list that you can go to and just make sales? So the most, probably the most important thing you can do in your business is build your list. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Fatal mistake number one is that you're just not doing it. You're not doing email marketing at all. And this is shocking to me. You know, you 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 would be shocked as well to know how many e-commerce business owners I sit down with and talk talk to and they're not even doing email marketing. Okay, the absolute minimum is to do abandoned carts. If you're in the e-commerce space, you need to have abandoned cart emails. Okay, and in general kind of layout of that that I use is I use a 24 hour abandoned cart uh, sequence. So when somebody lands on my website and they put an item in the cart and they uh, put in their email but then they don't buy, um, I'm gonna hit them with three emails in a 24 hour uh, time frame to try to get them to come back and make that purchase. So fatal mistake number one, you're just not doing email marketing at all. Uh, abandoned cart emails are built right into Shopify if you're using Shopify. So it's please, number one, start doing email marketing if you're not. Fatal mistake number two, you're only doing abandoned cart emails. Okay, this is this is like the the one level up from the last the last mistake. Okay, if you're only doing abandoned cart emails, good good start. But here's the minimum that in my eyes for email marketing. This is the bare minimum that you should be doing in your business. Number one, you should have the abandoned carts, which we already talked about. Number two, you should have a welcome sequence. Okay, a welcome sequence is when anybody signs up to your list, you're gonna send them a series of emails. To, that have two objectives, to either to get them to make their first purchase or get them to come back and make a second purchase. And sometimes I build my welcome sequences out, you know, six months or even maybe a year, and those just run automatically in the background and are always generating sales for me. And so a welcome sequence is very, very important. The, the minimum on a welcome sequence should be probably two to three days. I mean, bare, bare minimum. But sometimes I build these out for six months to a year where they just automate in the background and I don't have to do any work to make sales, okay? And the last one is uh, regular campaigns at least two to three times per week, okay? So you should manually be going in, now you can schedule these, but you should be manually going in and writing new fresh content to send out to your list two to three times per week. To me, two times per week is the bare minimum. I like to send emails every other day, and I'm gonna talk about in uh, the fourth mistake why that's important, but you have to be sending regular emails to your list for a variety of reasons, so two to three times per week is the minimum for me. Number three is your subject lines suck. Okay, this is, let me go on a rant for a minute about subject lines. I see some of the worst subject lines, even top, sometimes from really big businesses in my email box. Now, I wanna make something really clear about subject lines. Okay, subject lines are the most important thing when it comes to email marketing. 
If you're wondering why your emails suck, if you're wondering why you're not getting buyers or you're not getting people clicking in your emails or opening your emails, subject lines are probably the issue. Okay, Subject lines need to invoke curiosity and they need to be personal. So what, what do I mean by that? First of all, I love to include the, the buyer's name or the, the customer's name. And then second, I love to have something uh, that invokes curiosity, just that makes them want to open the email. Because here's the bottom line, you're going to spend the majority of your time on the content of the email. You're going to be writing great stories and putting all these pictures and graphics and, and, and buttons and all this stuff, but no one's going to see that stuff unless you have a great subject line. So the two guidelines for subject lines, make it personal, so include their name or something about them. Um, which could be, you know, if you have a second time buyer, a third time buyer, or if they're new to your list, you could call that out in the subject line in a, in a creative way. And uh, second is to make it curious. A question is an easy way to do that if you just pose a question that makes them need to open the email to find out what's in it. That's a great way to do it. So improve your subject lines. Rant over. Fatal mistake number four, the final one. Your list is dead and stagnant because you rarely send emails. Okay, this is, this is a, I see this all the time. So there are business owners, so many business owners that have email marketing and they're paying for it every month, but they're not doing anything with it, right? At one point, you know, you, you were sending a bunch of emails, you had, you had your list engaged and somewhere along the way you fell, you fell off the track, you stopped sending emails. See this all the time. People have these big lists that they're not doing anything with. And there's a huge problem with that. I mean, one, you're not making any money because you're not sending emails. But two, uh, there's a lot of negative effects, right? So your emails are gonna start to go to spam more. If you have a list that's dead and you start to send emails again, the email providers like Gmail, Yahoo, they're gonna know that you haven't sent emails in a long time and they're gonna think that they're not very important, okay? Your user base becomes disinterested in what you have to say. If, if I send an email and then I don't send another email for three months, my people have forgot about me. They don't, they don't care what I have to say to them uh, when I haven't talked to them for three months, right? And your open rates drop dramatically. <clears throat> this is related to the last one. If your audience is disinterested, they're not gonna open your emails. Your, su your curious subject lines that we talked about in the last, uh, last mistake don't matter anymore because they know you don't really care. You're not interested in, in, in connecting with them, maybe like you once were. So that's fatal mistake number four. But thank you so much for watching today. Hey, if you're not doing email marketing, go start right now. And if your email marketing sucks, go improve it based on the tips in these videos. I want to thank you for watching today. Real quick, if you're interested in learning how to sell t-shirts online, or you have an e-commerce business and you want more sales, you maybe you have a t-shirt or print on demand business and you want more sales, I want to invite you to go to shirtschool.com. I have a brand new, about an hour and 15 minute free training where I talk to you about the shirt school system. And it's an incredible system that's helping a ton of people all across the world right now. And so I want to invite you to watch that free training. I'll leave a link down in the description. And you can also follow me on social media. It's at Carrie Egler on Instagram and on Facebook. I think it's Carrie Egler too. But I want you to go follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram. You can also join the free Shirt School Facebook group. Man, there's a lot of really, really good, valuable content in that group. So go do those things, and we will see you next week. Thanks a lot.